first at six, we're going in depth on the Rhode Island House Speaker's plan to get rid of the car tax, which he officially introduced at the State House just a short time ago. And it was first breaking on Eyewitness News Live at five. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi is standing by live with analysis. But first, Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has new details and reaction to the proposal. Caroline. Well, Mike and Shannon, according to House Speaker Mattiello's plan, the car tax would be eliminated altogether by 2023. State money would be used to reimburse the communities that currently receive hundreds of millions of dollars from this tax. Cutting the car tax has been top of mind for House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. I am delivering on a promise to begin the phase out of a regressive oppressive tax. It was a promise he made during his hard fought 2016 reelection campaign. Rhode Island currently has the highest car tax in the country, which Mattiello says hurts the state's ability to remain competitive. His plan will begin reducing the percent of the retail value of a car that can be taxed. In 2018, that percentage will drop from 100 to 95, and then the percentage will drop another 5% each year until 2023. It reimburses our local cities and towns for any revenue loss, so there's no local impact. And it addresses all of our main principles that we intended to address. Mattiello says roughly 150,000 older cars will come off the car tax roll statewide within the first year. It would appropriate $26 million within that first year of the phase out. This is really one way or another the people's money. Um, and the people have demanded this, the people expect this, and we are here to serve the, the will of the people. And And Governor Gina Raimondo responded to this proposal this afternoon in a statement. She says she credits House Speaker Mattiello for tackling an issue as big as the car tax, but she says this $220 million plan will be thoroughly vetted. Reporting live inside the State House, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline, and our in-depth coverage continues now. Speaker Mattiello isn't the only state leader who's been talking about cutting the car tax. Governor Gina Raimondo has also put forward a more modest plan to reduce the tax. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Nisi has been tracking this debate for months. He joins us now from the State House. Ted, what's the key difference between the two plans and which one has the best chance of passing? Well, Mike, I'd say the biggest difference is just the scope of the two plans. Speaker Mattiello wants to eliminate the car tax entirely. Governor Raimondo wants to cut it, but keep it in place. Take a look at these numbers that we put together comparing the two. Under Governor Raimondo's proposal, the car tax would be cut by about 30% starting in July 2018, but it wouldn't disappear. The cost of the state of her plan, about $60 million. Now, under Speaker Mattiello's proposal, the car tax would be reduced starting this July and be in July 2023. The cost to the state for his plan, about $220 million. Now, I'd say there's almost no doubt the first installment of Speaker Mattiello's six-year plan will make it into the budget. It's his top priority. It's fairly popular, and he only needs about $26 million to make that first down payment. So, Ted, you're kind of alluding by saying the first part. You know, the Speaker, he, he, will he be able to get enough money over the next five years to actually get rid of the tax entirely? Right, that's a big question here. I mean, uh, Speaker Mattiello insists, yes, he's going to find that money. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But you talk to some of the other State House Democrats up here, they're not so sure. They note that the state is already looking at budget deficits of about $200 million a year in the future years. And that's before you add on the cost of Speaker Mattiello's car tax plan. People also might remember that the last time state lawmakers tried to eliminate the car tax, they wound up bringing it back when state revenue went south. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. And that's Ted Nisi with analysis from the State House. Ted, thank you very much. And we have much more on the ongoing car tax debate on WPRI.com, including our recent Target 12 investigation, Fighting Your Vehicle's Value. We uncover why so few people successfully appeal their car tax rate, and we look at how other states calculate their car tax. And you can read Target 12 investigator Tim White's exclusive story online right now at WPRI.com.